Welcome to learn how to paint in acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Well today's lesson will be a snow scene. Well let's go to my studio and I'll show you how it's done. I'll see you there. Because it takes a long time to do a painting, the lesson was put in fast motion and narrated. First draw the picture on the 8x10 canvas. Now we'll take our brilliant blue and we'll cover that whole canvas. We'll use a little more water than what we normally do to create a wash. Now that the canvas is all covered, we're going to take our sock and we're going to wipe some of that paint off, just enough to where we let the pencil show through. Now that we've got that done, we'll mix our white and blue together and we'll start working on the sky. We'll blend in a little more blue in with the white. And we'll add a little more white onto the top. If we drew the circles in to mark where the sun shines through the clouds. We'll add some red with blue and white and we will fill in some of that top area and we'll blend as we go and we'll make sure we keep it nice and soft. We'll put in a touch of yellow to mark that area. Now we'll use some red, blue, and a touch of white, and we'll create a purple. We'll just kind of fill in around that, and we'll blend as we go. 
and add some more red. And we put in a touch of blue into the red. And what we're doing is we're mixing the paint on the canvas. And we kind of lighten it up on the left side. And then we'll blend it in to the right side. We'll add a little bit more yellow into the red. We'll create an orange and we'll put right above the cloud on the left side. Now we'll just continue to blend. Okay, let's add a little more red into the right hand side of the corner. Now remember where we drew those circles. We'll just take a little bit of white on our fan brush and we'll mark them. There's three circles there. And we'll look at the photograph to see where the light is. And then we will just place them in there, just like that. And we're doing a lot of blending as we go. Just keep in mind, we're just working on the undercoat. And the undercoat means that it's uh, more of an abstract look before you add the detail. You're just placing in the colors. And we're really not doing any detail at this point. And it won't be exactly the color of the photograph, because I'm colorblind, but I can come pretty close to it. Add a little more white right there and there. Just keep in mind that's where the sun is coming through it. Now the sun is also reflecting on some clouds around it. There you go. Now we'll go on the left side and we'll brighten that up just a touch and we'll work our way to the right. We'll sit in some of the fog just above the mountain. We just swish the paint across the canvas back and forth. There we go. Now we'll add some yellow and red together to create an orange. And we're going to put that in around the cloud of where the sun's shining through it. Okay, there we go. Now that we got that part of it done, we'll brighten up where the sun is coming through the clouds. We'll start out with the white to where it's the brightest. 
and we're using our zero brush. And we do the next one. Now we'll go to the next one. Put a little bit of yellow in around our white. That is when the sun is shining through the clouds, it creates a little bit of yellow reflecting through the cloud, which is pretty cool. Then we'll add some yellow on the left side. Just uh, trail it to edge the cloud. We'll brighten up the areas where the sun's coming through. Now we're going to get some red and a touch of blue and we're going to put in where the clouds are. We're going to add some white and blue together and we're going to blend it. It'll give you some of the sky. Just a haze of clouds. You can pretty much tell that it's the sky, but it's the thinner clouds that are around where the sun is coming through. Now we'll do a lot of blending. We'll blend up closer to where the sun is. We'll blend in a little bit closer to where we added the white for the sun and we'll blend it in. And now we will we will fill it in some more down below the clouds. So just kind of going back and forth and blending, adding lights and darks. We'll do some touch-ups on the clouds. Do a little bit of fine detail. Of course, this fine detail is just an undercoat detail. I mean, it will show up even when the painting is through, it'll give you kind of a subconscious feel to it. We'll 
We'll lighten it up a little more in the middle. Well, we're getting close to finishing the undercoats on the clouds. Okay, now we'll move down and we'll work on the mountains and then the foreground. And what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of black into our blue and burnt sienna mixed into it with some white and we'll create kind of a um, kind of a greenish gray. As you want it really light for the distance because you have your atmosphere in between which makes your mountains in the distance a lot lighter. Okay, we got the back mountain in. Now we're going to bring in the mountain in the foreground here, or the middle ground, or the mid ground, and we'll fill that in. That won't be as dark still. It'll be kind of a medium light, but still, it's still dark. And uh, the reason that you add a little touch of yellow in with your black and your blue because there's trees and vegetation in the distance that will simulate the trees that are blended for the distance and it looks pretty good. Now we'll work on the left side there's a whole mountain of trees and we get those put in with our fan brush. Now when that's done we'll darken it a little more with some black And we created a green with our yellow and blue and adding the black to that with the burnt sienna that works perfectly. Now we'll get our zero brush and we'll detail the tops of the trees. There's snow in the middle there. Now we'll work on the snow and we'll kind of clean it up. Now we'll get our number two brush and we'll kind of blend the mountains into the sky. Now just keep looking at your photograph just to make sure that you've got 
everything in the right place. Okay, we'll go with our number two brush. We'll add some blue and white together. And we'll add a little bit of red to that. you would have some red and yellow reflecting off to the snow. So you want just a touch of yellow, a little bit of red, mostly the blue, burnt sienna. Just go ahead and mix it all in there. And just mix it on the canvas. And it gives it some texture as you do that. Okay. You see it's not all just one color, it's many different colors. They're all blended together, but they're, you can see that, that they're separate. Now we're going to get some white, and we're going actually white and red. Kind of make a pink, and we'll go over that blue just to highlight it. We'll continue doing that. Okay, we'll add some more into the sky. Okay, now what our plan is here, we're going to put in all the blackberries and the, the grass, sticks. The snow had laid down onto the foliage, but we want to bring that foliage out. Then after we do all that, we're going to cover it up again. It'll just give the feel of the snow laying on top of it. Now it would be your choice because this is your painting. You can leave it with the uh, sticks coming out of the snow or you can add a little more snow on top of the sticks. And that would be your choice. Every painting will be different. You just paint it the way you want it. Add a little bit of white to the background under the mountains. We'll get our tin brush and we'll dab right over the top of the sticks, grass and blackberries. And we'll go through again with our number zero brush and we'll add some more detail to that. Basically what we're doing is we're layering. We're layering our paint so it gives it a little more substance.
Now watch what happens when I take the number 10 brush and add more paint on it. Even though it's not there, we'll add a bank of snow in the foreground. We're really not finished yet, but we'll go ahead and sign the painting. Now you could leave the sky the way it is now, that's why we signed the painting, or we're going to brighten it up with a bunch of red. Look at that. Getting redder, and add some yellow and white, create a wash, and go right over the top of it. We're brighten it up. And we have the paint light enough to where that when we go over it, we can kind of see through it. Now take your sock and we'll blend it all in. Now, isn't that cool? We'll touch up that mountain in the background. It's still very light and back into the distance. We'll add some more orange into the sky. There you go. A sunset snow scene. Hello, we're back. Now that's how you do a painting of a snow scene. Until next time, you have a great day and happy painting. I'll see you later. Bye.